Today we are going to discuss the topic of uh, unit number 4 that is classification of living things. So living things are classified into different groups. What we will discuss in this chapter is living things are classified into different groups. Yani ke jandaron ko different groups may classify kiya ja sakta hai. कौन कौन से टेरेस्ट्रियल टेरेस्ट्रियल मींस खुशकी पे रहने वाले एक्वेटिक मींस पानी पे रहने वाले एम्फीबियन पानी और खुशकी दोनों पे जगह पे रहने वाले एरियल हवा में रहने वाले जानवर एंड आर्बोरियल درختوں पर रहने वाले चिरिन परिन डिस्क्राइब द एनवायरमेंट्स इन व्हिच एनिमल्स लिव ऐसे एनवायरमेंट्स को बयान करते हैं के बारे में डिस्क्राइब करते हैं जहां पर जानवर रहते हैं प्लांट्स ग्रो इन टेरेस्ट्रियल और एक्वेटिक एनवायरमेंट्स बोथ Plants to have wo khushki par aur pani dono jagah pe grow kar sakta hai animals may be herbivores animals ya to herbivores ho sakte hain herbivores means jadi bootiyan khane wale carnivores means ke gosht khor aur omnivores jo ke plant aur animals dono khate hain aur parasites jo apne host ke andar rehne wale janwar in order to understand this chapter we have to understand what is classification the process of grouping living things into different groups is called classification. Yani ke ek aisa process just me living things ko group different groups me classify kiya jai. This is called classification. Different groups me rakha jai. This is called classification. Usko classification kehte hain. History kya hai? This classification was done by scientists in 18th century. 18th century me scientists ne classification ki. They gave scientific names to the living things. Unane living things ko, jandaro ko, scientific names diye, they, that could be easily used all over the world. Jisse puri dunia mein asani se istamal kiya ja sakta. Robert H. Whittaker in 1969 classified them into five kingdoms. What are these five kingdoms? These five kingdoms are protoctists, prokaryotes, fungi, plants and animals. In order to understand these five kingdoms, we have to understand these scientific terms. These scientific terms are unicellular, yani single cell organisms, yani ke jis mein ek cell paya jai jandaro mein, unhe e, use kehte unicellular. Multicellular means more than one cell organisms, yani ke aise organisms jis mein ek se zyada cells paya jai. Eukaryotes, nucleus surrounded by cell membrane, yani ke ek nucle aise jandar jis mein nucleus cell membrane se covered ho. Or prokaryotes, no clear nucleus surrounded by cell membrane, yani ke na to clear nucleus ho jis ka cell membrane ho. Yes, these, this is the table which can describe these five kingdoms either they are unicellular, multicellular or eukaryotic or prokaryotes. So protoctists is unicellular and eukaryotes and prokaryotes are the unicellular and prokaryotes. Fungi is the unicellular and multicellular both while on the other hand this is eukaryotes. Plants, plants are multicellular and eukaryotes. And animals are the multicellular and eukaryotes. Yes, there are the examples of five kingdoms. Protoctists. Amoeba is the example of protoctist. These are unicellular organisms. Prokaryotes. These are also unicellular organisms and bacteria and some types of algae. Fungi. These are uh, mushrooms, moles and yeast. They are both unicellular and multicellular. Plants are also multicellular. All green plants and animals is also multicellular. All multicellular animals. Concept check. Why do we need to classify things? Hame things ko classify karne ki zarurat kyun pesh aai? This classification is used all over the world to recognize things. This ye classification puri dunia mein istamal ki jati hai cheezon ko pehchanne ke liye. Is liye hame zarurat pesh aai. Living things are classified into how many kingdoms? Jandaro ko kitne kingdoms mein classify kiya ja sakta hai that are that is five kingdoms. What is the name of the scientific scientist who developed the kingdom classification? That is the name of the scientist who developed the kingdom classification is Robert H. Whittaker. Animals are further classified as uh, vertebrates and invertebrates. The animal kingdom is divided into two main groups. The animals with backbone are called vertebrates and the animals without backbone are called invertebrates. What are the uh, examples of invertebrates and vertebrates? Fish, birds, reptile, mammals and amphibians are vertebrates. 
while animals like snails spiders and such kinds of worms are the examples of invertebrates